Hello everybody. Today we are going to learn what is brachial plexus. Plexus means nothing but group of nerves and brachia means upper arm. This group of nerve that is this plexus is present in upper arm so it is together termed as brachial plexus. Now this nerves this nerve get arise from spinal cord in our body. We all know that nerves are very important for the functioning of various muscles in our body. All the muscle get supplied in the upper arm from this brachial plexus. Now let us see how this system works. This is the spinal cord and these are its two parts. Ventral horn and dorsal horn. This ventral horn and dorsal horn gives rise to structure which is known as dorsal root and ventral root respectively. These roots, they together form what is known as a nerve. Suppose this is a section at C5, this is C6, this is C7, this is C8 and this is T1. Now C5, C6, C7, C8 and T1, this together constitute this plexus which is brachial plexus. These nerves, now these are the roots. Let us see what are the important structures present on this root. On this dorsal root, we have important ganglion which is known as pseudo unipolar ganglion. Now, an important ganglion arises at this level and it together forms a nerve. This ganglion is called as sympathetic ganglion and the nerve arising is sympathetic nerve. These uh, roots give rise to structure which is known as rami. Now, this rami divides into two points dorsal rami, ventral rami, dorsal rami, ventral rami, dorsal rami, ventral rami, and this is dorsal rami and ventral rami. Now, dorsal rami doesn't take part in formation of any structure. Ventral rami, it forms a second part which is trunk. This is known as upper trunk. Ventral rami of this level C7, it forms middle trunk. And ventral ramus of these C8 and T1, it forms lower trunk. Upper trunk, uh, it gives rise to again different structures. But before that, we will see that what nerves get arise from these roots and this trunk. Root gives rise to two nerves. One is nerve to rhom rhomboidus or dorsal scapular nerve. And the other nerve arising is from C5, C6 and C7. It is nerve to serratus anterior muscle. Next see that this trunk. At this trunk level two nerves arise. One is nerve to upper subscapular. And the other nerve which arise is nerve to subclavius subclavius muscle. Now let us see what this trunk gives rise again to. This trunk divides into two divisions. One is dorsal division, ventral division, dorsal division, ventral division, dorsal division and ventral division. Third structure which forms in this plexus is division. Now let us see what this ventral ramp division of this upper trunk and middle trunk form. It forms cords and the first cord form is lateral cord. The dorsal division of all the three trunks, dorsal division, it gives rise to posterior cord. And ventral division of this lower trunk, it gives rise to what is known as medial cord. Lateral cord, an uh, important point to know is no nerve get arise from this division structure. Now let us see what this cord gives rise to. Lateral cord divides into three, division, uh, three nerves. It gives rise to three divisions. Of nerve, one is lateral pectoral, other is lateral root of median, and third one is musculo cutaneous nerve. Posterior cord it gives rise to five nerves, which can be remembered through a mnemonic, which is ulnar. Now let us see how this ulnar mnemonic works. We will see the five nerves. One is upper subscapular, 
second is lower subscapular no third is nerve to latissimus dorsi a is axillary nerve and r is radial nerve in this way the five nerves get arise from this posterior cord let us see now what this medial cord gives rise to this medial cord divides into again five divisions which can be remembered through a mnemonic m4u now let us see what this m4u means m is median cutaneous nerve of arm another m is median cutaneous nerve of forearm again m is median pectoral nerve we have seen lateral pectoral nerve above again m is median root of median nerve and u is nothing but ulnar nerve in this way this all nerves which supply the upper arm get arise from this plexus which is known as brachial plexus now a situation arises in this condition where the whole system get shifts upward that is c4 c5 c6 c7 and c8 these roots they form this structure such situation is called as prefix condition and similarly as a, a similar situation arises when the whole system gets shift downwards by one root and there is involvement of c6 c7 c8 t1 and t2 this situation is called as postfix condition and this way this is all about brachial plexus